I'm home alone for the first time. Do you think I've got too many clothes, Mum? Oh, I'm so over these stupid wardrobes. And I know it's not gonna fit. When will this mess ever end? Maybe I'll just step over it and have a snack. Hello, hello, how are we doing? Oh, I've left the music playing, one sec. Okay, hello, so, oh, I've been bit. Let's just ignore that, <laughs> along with my spotty face. It is, what day is it? It's Friday, and I'm home alone for the first time, and it's been a week since we moved in. My boyfriend's gone back to his hometown to do some work bits, so yeah, I've got the house to myself for two nights, basically, which is very weird. I've, <laughs> I've been out all day and then I went back to my parents before I came back here. I think I was like mentally avoiding being in the house by myself because it's very strange. It's good, but it doesn't feel like a proper home without my boyfriend here, you know? Like, he's always around making noise, playing music, stuff like that. So, yes, but I'm going to make the most of this evening. I've actually got a logo design to do for a client. And what else am I going to do? I'm going to put the doors on the bookcases. I've brought a bunch of clothes home from my parents they're in the car but right as i got out of the car this happened and it's still like tipping it down so i cannot go to and from the car with clothes because they'll end up soaking wet along with me i mean i got caught in it as well you can kind of tell i got the plants out i brought most of my plants back to this house i keep calling both houses home i keep kind of getting muddled up i did that when i was at uni there was like Lincoln home and Doncaster home, but now this is my house and the other house is my parents' house. So weird. But yeah, I am gonna, <laughs> I'm having a little oven pizza for dinner because I'm lazy. I'm gonna do some work and just kind of catch up on some life admin. I also desperately need to wash my hair. So yeah, maybe it'll be a two day vlog. My parents are coming again tomorrow. We're just gonna like neaten up the garden a little bit, move the table now that the patio's dried. And yeah, I think that's it. So first adult task of the day, unload the dishwasher. Let's do this. that the wonderful Hermes have delivered a parcel by chucking it over the fence. Really? Can you see it? It's literally dripping. Really? I can't even remember what's in this, so I hope whatever it is isn't fragile. Okay, luckily for them, it isn't. <sighs> I actually only ordered these yesterday as well, so I'm really happy they've come so quick. I've got a, like a memo board I want to put up here. And I did order some command books previously, but they weren't strong enough. So, oh my god, these are huge. I've gone from one extreme to the other. Look at how big these are. What the heck? They're like half of my hand. I guess we can use them for something else as well. I only need two. But basically, I have this. And we want it here above the bin and my dad tried to like mark it and put it on the wall for us but we think there's some important wires and stuff behind there which would make sense because there's a plug socket and stuff so oh my god it's thundering so yeah the solution was the command plugs mess ever end <laughs> these boxes were already here the brown boxes but i've just brought in a bunch of clothes things firstly why do i own so many pairs of heels i probably haven't worn heels in at least four years maybe longer but i just can't seem to get rid of them it seems got some clothes that's from yesterday when we cleared out the dining room oh it's too hot to do anything though maybe i'll just step over it and have a snack if i remember rightly we have my favorite grapes Cotton candy grapes. Okay, I... So you know the 
drawers I did in the last vlog. In fact, let me turn this back off. You know the drawers I did in the last vlog? They didn't open. They were too close to each other. And I don't know why I hadn't checked it. So, yeah. I had to just unscrew and re-screw eight separate drawers, all of which have six different screws each. I hope that's the last time I ever have to re-screw those. Although I've literally just spotted one that I've missed. I'm hoping I can do this without moving it. No. <laughs> I've missed one. Oh, I'm so over these stupid wardrobes. You know what? I used to like flat pack and I still quite enjoy it, but when you're doing this much flat pack with such big quantities, like they're huge bits of furniture and we had so much. It's just not, it's just not fun. Oh, I think I've done it. What I might do is move this shelf down and then maybe put like our boots on the bottom and then like trainers on the top because this gap, that is literally not gonna fit anything in it. <laughs> and you know what the worst part about doing these cabinets are? The shelves. And I've repositioned these shelves far too many times and I've also filled them up <laughs> oh I can do this in fact a lot of time has passed i've given up on my wardrobe i'll probably show you where i got up to later if not in the morning my mum is coming tomorrow so hopefully she can help <laughs> where would i be without my mum i am now gonna make my little pizza so i just got like a little pizza i could cook but i really can't be bothered to so i sort of planned ahead and got pizza i've just turned the lights on in the kitchen i love these down lighters they're so cute it is quarter to seven and it's still light i'm actually really impressed with how much light we still have i'm not ready for the dark nights in the winter i think it's going to be so weird we definitely need to get some blinds for these windows that's one of the things on our very long to-do list is to order some blinds for the kitchen i want to order some blinds for the patio doors and i also want some blinds for the bedroom so yeah <laughs> That's another expense. Who knew blinds were so expensive? The ones we got though are incredible. They're from um, Blinds Direct. I'm gonna just put my pizza on the tray whilst I'm talking to you. Yeah, they're from Blinds Direct, um, which is just like an online website that I found. I just looked at reviews and they seemed good. They are, they're very good. I actually I had to order two different blinds for my bedroom because I got the sizing, actually no I didn't get the sizing wrong, I got like the fabric wrong. We wanted a blackout blind and basically we put it up and it most definitely wasn't a blackout blind so I had to order that again. Annoyingly because they're custom fit I can't return it so I think I'm gonna like sell it on Facebook Marketplace or something. In the meantime we're gonna sort of focus on getting the main chunky bits of furniture done so that we can actually fully bring things over when my boyfriend gets back on Sunday, he's coming with his mum and they're bringing like the rest of his wardrobe and any other bits that we didn't like instantly take on moving day. And we did that because we knew it wasn't really worth bringing loads, stressing ourselves out because we had nowhere to put them. But now we have the big wardrobe so we can actually start moving things. Also talking about the wardrobes, my mum's bringing all my hanging clothes tomorrow as well so let's hope they fit i think i'm gonna end up getting rid of some things i ended up getting rid of quite a few pairs of like shoes i got rid of a couple of bags they're like i'm like part hoarder part chuck everything away it depends what mood i'm in and there's bags in there that i've had for a while or have been given to me or 
I bought with great intentions and I just haven't used them. So I finally bit the bullet and got rid. Oh my God, there's like marks on this countertop. We've been doing lots of snagging today. So if you didn't know, new builds, you do like a snag list, which is basically like minor defects or major defects. And I sent that list off today and I actually missed off the worktop. So I'm just gonna tell the builders, I think. One perk of having the builders on site at the moment is that if there's anything wrong, they have so far been quite quick to fix it. So hopefully that continues, but we will find out. Have I used this oven before? No, I haven't. My boyfriend's been doing the cooking and I've been doing the building. So let's hope I've done this right. I mean, it's warm and let's start the bookcases. I can't get over how big this wall looks now with the bookcase on it. That happened in the wardrobe room as well. We put the wardrobes up and the room felt bigger somehow, which is sort of backwards, but obviously we're not complaining. I don't really want to start putting away the books because I literally have one box and the rest of them are mine and I feel like my boyfriend would appreciate doing that himself. I'm gonna leave that to him, but I thought we'll work left to right and then hopefully, in theory, the more I do, the quicker I'll get. One door done. And my pizza's ready. Oh yeah. Um Do you think I've got too many clothes, Mum? Have you shown the ones on your bed? Oh yeah, there's these. They're the hanging clothes. And, and then the there's left. still this. And there's still more to come. These are all going in the bin or to charity, so it's mainly that. <laughs> Which is still an issue. Oh dear. The ones on your bed are a big issue. Yeah, the ones on the bed we definitely need to sort through. has been made the handles are now on these doors they're like literally the same color so you can't really see them but they have little handles on them now they're all level my dad has very kindly leveled them for me because obviously yesterday i spent ages putting them on <laughs> and i couldn't face leveling them he also needs to level the wardrobe doors but first we are going to add the extension things so there's like little cube things you can buy which basically add a bit of height onto the shelves. However, it's not like a full height like this. I think it's like 35 centimeters high and the gap is only 27 ish. So my dad is currently, let me show you in the garden, cutting the bottom off. It's a DIY job from all of us. Look, he's literally about to cut it now. So hopefully this works out in my, how it, what it looks in my head basically. That's what we're hoping. Just done the second load of washing. Mum's getting it out for me. Thanks, Mum. You're welcome. And my wardrobe, let me show you. By some miracle, we actually have space for my boyfriend's stuff. <laughs> At one point, we were kind of concerned that I had too much stuff. And I have actually thrown a lot out or given it to charity or whatever. We need to put the handles on these wardrobes because right now I have to keep bending down to open them. But this is in here. So that's my short hanging. And there's actually quite a lot of room left, like they slide up and down, which is good because a lot of the time in my mum's house, I ended up with no room. We've got shoes, which we saw yesterday, bags. And then this is like gym lounge trousers and then tops and some more trousers. So yeah, and then obviously all this is for my boyfriend. 
secretly hoping he doesn't need it all because I would happily take a couple off him, off his hands, but obviously I'm not going to do that until we know how much he needs. And then this one is the long hanging, and we actually got quite, got rid of quite a few things, they do squash up. But <laughs> the plan was to hang a lot of coats in here, and I know it's not going to fit because we've both got a lot of coats, so we need to think of a solution for that. But for now, I've got some empty organisers that my boyfriend can use if he wants them. We've done the underwear and socks and then all the bottoms like leggings and trousers and stuff. We've done good. There's some like bits around but we can't really do much about that until... Done those drawers. Oh yeah, I've done these drawers as well. So these came from my bedroom. So I basically just copied what it was like at my house, at my mum's house. So hair, face and body bobbles, medicines, like little table towels, and then pyjamas in here. And then my boyfriend wanted a drawer as well. So I've actually managed to keep that drawer empty for now. <laughs> and there is some stuff left, like general makeup. But I think that'll end up in the Alex drawers in my office. The office is actually looking a lot clearer. Well, it was until we put the washing in here. But yeah, we've made a gap, like this was all full. So we can actually walk through here when the washing's not in. And we've cleared a box off the top of my desk. And hopefully it won't be long before we start trying to tackle that. But for now, I'll just keep closing the door and walking out, which is the best way, I think. We're going to strip the bed and change it. See, like, all that? That is... Yeah, my dad. That's, like, bathroom stuff. Where that's going to go, I don't know. We'll suss it out. Also, have I shown you the patio now it's done? Oh, it's all covered up, but Dad's moved the table that he built for us, and he's just working away down there. And, just like that, it's done! Easy, eh, Dad? Easy. Easy. That looks so down. good. Now you understand my vision. It looks exactly how I like wanted it. We're debating like something to sort this out, but we're gonna put the books on it first. I feel like we won't even notice it. But to say that you've chopped them all off and stuck them back on, I think it's a really good, good job. You're saying it would bother you. Well, if you want to fix it, you can fix it, Father. And then we're thinking maybe like a thing across the top. All these boxes. Oh, my boyfriend's books. There's loads. And I have one box, which is probably buried somewhere, but the rest of the boxes aren't mine. <laughs> oh, many hours have passed and I've just come back. I went to my parents' house to have my tea because my boyfriend is staying back at his parents tonight. But I just, I just fancied like a nice home cooked meal. So we had shepherd's pie, very happy about it. <laughs> Had some dairy milk and now I've come back and I'm so ready to put my pyjamas on. It's like half eight now, so it's definitely pyjama time. I think I'm gonna watch some more High School Musical, the series on Disney Plus. It's such like a cringy program, but it's kind of addictive. So I'm gonna watch some of that, but we've had such a productive day. These shelves look incredible. They actually somehow make the ceiling look taller. I think now they've got the top bits on. I can't wait to fill these up. Hopefully tomorrow when my boyfriend gets back we'll empty these boxes um, and then we should only have a couple left because most of it will go in here and in there so that'll be great. And then this box has got frames and stuff so hopefully then. I think I've got some command strips somewhere in my office. When I've found the command strips I'm gonna just start like hanging stuff up. We'll find places for everything so it looks a little bit less like a white box but yes i hope you've enjoyed this video lots of building lots of progress has been made very thankful to my mum and dad as always and yeah i hope you've enjoyed this vlog and i'll see you next time for another one bye <laughs>